Hi, and welcome to Optimum TV. I'm Stephen Adams, and today I'm pleased to welcome back Eliana Schutter, CEO of Zeltis, which is developing artificial vessels and valves, which are gradually replaced by the patient's own living tissue. So hi, Eliana. Hi, Stephen. Nice to speak to you again at the start of the year. We have exciting plans ahead of us, so great to speak about it. Absolutely, and Happy New Year to you too. Last time we spoke, which was back in May, you outlined Zeltis's Access Graph, a vascular access solution for patients on dialysis. To recap, please outline the potential advantages of Access over other uh, access solutions which are currently available for dialysis patients. Sure, more than happy to do so. And, and just take one step back. Remember, Stefan, we have 850 million patients suffering from chronic kidney disease. It is soon to become the fifth leading cause of death. You know, currently it's twice as many patients suffering from chronic kidney disease compared to diabetic uh, disease patients. So it gives you a bit of an understanding how, how serious this is. And there's around 4 million patients that really rely on dialysis to replace their kidney function. And unfortunately, these patients uh, face a series of problems, a host of problems, because simply there is no ideal solution for them available. Uh, I told you last time, right, there's catheters. That is usually the first step that patients uh, will, uh, as they're crashing into dialysis, uh, are facing. Dialysis have a very high infection rate. The second option that immediately will then be utilized is a fistula. It's an artificially way of the surgeon making a connection from a vein to an artery in the forearm. But unfortunately, the maturation is very poor. That means it cannot be used in a number of these patients. Then these patients have to go through interventions and then have the disappointment that these solutions will not work as a permanent solution. And then ultimately, they're crashing into an, an, a synthetic plastic tube solution that is prone with a, a, infections uh, with occlusions. So imagine that you have something like the Zeltus A-axis device which is a, as you said, self-healing uh, option. Um, it allows the cells to be colonized in a polymeric matrix and over time becomes your patient your own living healthy tissue. And thereby, you do not see all these problems that the current solutions have. You have a permanent access solution. You can be on dialysis in a trustworthy way, but at the same time, avoiding all the redos and repairs that are unfortunately uh, currently still the situation. So that's what we have to offer. Fantastic. And last time we spoke, you said Zeltis had generated some phenomenal first in human data for this device access, but you also said you were planning larger pivotal trials. Where are these taking place and how are they progressing? Sure. So first of all, let me just also recap the first in human trial as we uh, as our last time was presenting the 12 months data was shown spectacular data in terms of its lack of interventions, um, but also especially no infections. So it shows that something that is truly self-healing, your immune system is taking over, fighting against these bacteria and showing a lack of infections. Now with the 12 months data, we've just recently come up with the 24 months data, also showing a spectacular high usage of dialysis in patients, which is 30 percent more than even an average graph. So a significant step up shown in our pivotal uh, in our first in human trial. Now, uh, indeed, we've progressed with our uh, pivotal trial and happy to, uh, to announce that we've also have completed our enrollment in a predictable way and that we're now waiting for our readouts that will come in the summer. Also, our US trial, pivotal trial has started. So very exciting that we also have now uh, stepped into the US uh, geography and are helping patients in the United States. So just to recap, you've got one trial in the EU and another in the US? Correct. Fantastic. Um, and can you tell us when you hope to be able to put report results for these two trials? So the first trial, as mentioned, we need a six month readout <clears throat> that yep. will happen around the summer. Okay. And then soon thereafter, we'll file for an uh, for an CE marking uh, well, approval. In the United States, we're still enrolling. We're st we're starting. We have some successful implantations done, and that means that we still uh, are waiting for the final uh, inclusion of all these patients. And soon thereafter, we get the U.S. approval. So first in the United uh, first in Europe, and then in the United States. 
Okay. Um, and I understand that access has been granted breakthrough device designation. Uh, where is that? And um, what advantages does that bring to uh, Zeltis in terms of trying to um, take this product onto the market? Yeah, thank you, Stefan, for, for uh, alluding to that part, because we're extremely proud that we've been able to achieve a breakthrough destination by the FDA. And uh, this is, uh, of course, a, a recognition that a an, an very recognized regulatory body is acknowledging the innovation behind our technology, that what we bring is remarkably different than what's currently available. And, uh, and with this, the FDA recognized that uh, we need to get uh, f accelerated reviews, making sure that these products eventually, when uh, the pivotal trial is completed, gets uh, to the market in a fast way. So it's a recognition that really this is an innovation that should be coming to the market very soon and benefits and bring benefits to patients. In addition, it is a recognition to many of the reimbursement uh, agencies to allow for fast tracking this device to get, you know, good pricing and bring bring also in healthy economics behind it. So it also has, a, you know, a huge value in terms of its uh, business economic uh, value in um, in this in this solution. Okay, fantastic. Well, thinking about these two major geographies, Europe and the U.S., when would you hope to be in a position to market access? If all goes well. If all goes well, right? And and we're extremely, you know, I mean, it's promising. So uh, we have high hope that it will all will be successful. Um, CE marking will follow this year. That means we're already start preparing our initial launch in Europe first. And uh, remember that we have around 100,000 vascular accesses done every year in Europe. And what we believe is a very legitimate way of penetrating this market will be first immediately switching the current market from the plastic tubes that are today insufficiently performing towards the access self-healing device. And that should be the first step. Uh, of adoption. Followed thereafter, as we've demonstrated, that we also have far less calls than the fistulas and a permanent access solution uh, without the worry that your fistula will fail, then also guidelines will change and uh, the adoption will follow by fistula patients. So we're targeting first Germany, which is around 25% of the market, and followed by France and the UK um, and, and Spain and Italy following as well. As, okay. as a commercial strategy. And can you give any idea about timelines for the U.S.? Is it too early to say? That's a bit too early to say. I mean, yeah. the, the promising fact is that we've been planning our pivotal trial in Europe uh, so well that we've just met all our timelines. So we're, we're extremely excited that we're actually ahead of our targeted timelines in the United States. So let's hope we continue to, to bring up the excitement and do it, do it fast. But it needs time. Uh, 140 patients uh, to enroll um, also takes a bit of time. So uh, we're going to be a bit careful, optimistic, but hope to be in the United States as well soon. Okay. How are you looking to commercialize the product? Are you in-house or a partnership through uh, another mechanism? Well, we, we're trying to now uh, fundraise to get our initial sales uh, on the radar, which means in Germany likely to go uh, direct as to in other countries we, we are seeking for distributors. That's the goal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, and finally, uh, we've got um, the JPM Healthcare Conference just around the corner. Are you attending? I am, I am, and we're really excited to meet uh, some of our network uh, peers, but also meet strategics and uh, and also, uh, well, any of the, the big players in the field. Uh, we're excited to share, you know, the, the good news about Zeltas, but at the same time, we're also fundraising to, uh, to allow uh, resources to be enough to get through the approvals and also be successful in our initial uh, commercialization. So looking forward to that. Eliana Schutter of Zeltis, it's fantastic to hear an update on this product, Access, and we look forward to hearing more of it in the future. Thanks very much. Thank you, Seven. Bye-bye. Are you watching Optimum TV? In our bite-sized episodes, we talk to European life science leaders about the hottest trends, innovations, and capital market developments in the sector. To subscribe, visit at Optimum Comms on YouTube. You can also watch all available episodes on our website, OptimumComs.com.